Mobile AI has been months in the making. Reality is that I haven't seen the progress that I was hoping to see. You see, with tools like Bolt, V0, Lovable, Replic Agents, and similar AI tools, I was expecting Bubble to have something along the lines of what they're offering. Lovable even launched today their drag and drop editor, and Bubble still doesn't have a workable solution for their AI. But worry not, because I'm going to introduce you today to a brand new tool that would blow your mind if you are into Bubble. If you are trying to use Bubble, you will want to use this tool. The tool that I'm referencing to is No Confusion. And today we're going to be talking about how you can use No Confusion to build almost any design, including the database, the option set, the workflows, and of course, the design. With that being said, if you like my content, please consider subscribing to my channel as it helps me grow and get more people out there to discover these AI tools. Now, if you like this video, please consider liking as liking tell the algorithm that is a good video and it will push it out there. But I'm not going to bother you too much with that. I will jump in right into No Confusion and show you exactly what it's capable to do. And here we are, we are in No Confusion. When you go to No Confusion, you create your account, it will take you to this landing page. Here you can add uh, your prompt. And as you click center, you can add a new line. It's a similar concept to most other AI coding tools. What makes this different is that this is specifically for bubble and not for developing code, just like um, V0 and others do. Now, it's worth mentioning that this tool is a little bit less expensive than most other tools. This tool costs $8 per month if you're only doing two projects, which is more than enough for most people. If you're doing more than that, then you would want to go with their second tier, which includes, I believe it's 20 projects, but let's see, uh, five app generations. Uh, that's how the core projects uh, and 200 uh, co-pilot generations, which we're going to be talking about here in a moment. So we're going to go back to the homepage. Oh, let's actually try to go back. All right, so let's go back to the homepage. All right, so here we are in the homepage. I'm going to paste my uh, prompt that I refined using ChatGPT. So let's go back to no confusion. And here is the prompt. I added everything that I needed. Um, I didn't use Code Guy for those of you that follow the channel. You know that I use Code Guy for most of my um, PRD documents. Um, and for those of you that know, don't know what PRD document is, is project requirement document. Um, this time I use ChatGPT just because I'm not completely sure if Code Guy uses, um, well, if, if the document that Code Guy produces, if I'm able to upload it here, um, because it might have been an overkill because it includes um, other things like technology, which is not relevant here, among other things. So I decided not to overcomplicate anything. But here we have exactly what we need on the pages and basic features that I'm hoping that could be built using no confusion. We're going to send this and now it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm not going to keep you here, hear me talk for 10 to 15 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this as soon as it starts. So you can see, uh, we're going to generate the app. I created its own scope. We're going to generate the app and we're going to let it start generating each page. So right now it's generating the page structure. As you can see, it's probably going to take a little bit of time, but once we're past this, that is actually generating the code or the JSON file that you will take to bubble. Um, we're going to pause it right here. We're past that. It had created four main pages, 15 sub pages. Uh, sub pages are going to be the reusable elements. And all right, let's wait a moment and we will be back. And after 11 minutes, now it's finally done. It had generated everything that we need. We're going to proceed and download the file that it had created. And we're going to go back to Bobo. Now, 
Once you're in Bubble, this is a brand new installation, fresh installation. Uh, there is nothing on the database or the option sets. We're going to proceed to the settings page. Now, it's really important that you are either on a paid plan, it can be the lowest plan, or on a free trial. Because the feature we're going to be using now will require you to have a paid. Now, we're on a free trial right now, a 14 days free trial. It ends on February 27. Today is February 13. So I just got it uh, this morning. I'm going to go to the general tab, scroll all the way down, and we're going to go to import application. We're going to select the file that we're going to upload, which is this new file that we have created. And we're going to confirm this is going to take a few minutes to upload. Now we're going to go back to uh, no confusion. And as you can see, we are on step three out of six steps. Um, step four and five. And lastly, six, we're going to cover down on those relatively quickly, but it's relatively easy. What I want to highlight here is that it had created the database and the option sets. It created three different data types and three option sets. And for contest, what we're building right now is a marketplace to sell software templates. It created the template listing, template detail, and all these pages that I asked that to create along with um, along with the Uh, with the groups that are associated with it. We're at 99%. All right, so what we're going to do is now you want to go to optimize application. Uh, let's go back and refresh for me. Um, we're going to go to optimize application. It's analyzing the application. We're going to uncheck every single item there. And we're going to uh, clean the app. We don't want to clean what we just created. And let's start looking. The database, three different types, the holders, templates, and the user. And we have some option sets, color, framework, template category, and user role. We're going to create some more to make this a complete application. And now we are on the design. We got the buyer portal. Oh, let's start previewing this. So this is the buyer portal. As you can see, this is not dynamic data, but we're going to create that. It at least created that for us. With that different tabs for the buyer, we'll be able to make changes. We're going to move back to bubble. We'll take a look at the login page. Again, um, it has created something relatively simple and raised. And if we go to the workflows, it created all the workflows that we need to be able to to operate. Now we got reusable elements down here, which we can make changes to. This is completely editable. So everything that we need is available here. Uh, we got the admin dashboard where I can be looking at everything from my end. Now, if we go here on the home page, it creates a home page for me. I don't, I'm not completely Yep, there's a home page there. And lastly, we have a center portal. The center portal is uh, where they can manage their own templates. Pretty nice, if you ask me. Um, we got uh, quite a nice starting point that we can use to continue building on. This saved me approximately probably to four hours of time um, between the design and everything else that I had. Uh, there is a whole lot of stuff that uh, we have here that would otherwise I would have had to build from scratch. And for eight dollars, which is what I paid, I only got two projects. I'm sorry, for ten dollars, ten bucks that I paid. If I save three to four hours, I would say that that's a great investment. Two dollars and fifty cents an hour. I typically charge forty to fifty. So it, it was a great investment, regardless of how you look at it. 
And in all honesty, I, I really like the design and this is something that I can build on. You say as a starting point to continue improving and make sure that I get everything that I need. So that being said, there is no bubble AI yet, or I would say that the bubble AI that we have right now in fairly early trials is up to what we're expecting it to be, but no confusion is filling the gap and making sure that you're able to use AI just like most of us had probably in mind of how it should be. And this is my full endorsement to no confusion. These guys are doing great. They are doing exactly what we needed to do. Perhaps what we should consider acquiring this company because they're onto something. I'm not trying to criticize or be too harsh on Bowel, but Bowel AI is not there. No confusion is providing exactly what we need. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you taking your time and watching this video with me. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next one.